Welcome back friends, Mark Piotr here. I am very excited about my new mouthpiece from Drake. Aaron Drake in Texas is making his own mouthpieces, including the David Sanborn model that David uses himself. And today we're going to try out a couple of the Drake mouthpieces. Uh, and using this reed, this is the Boston Sax Shop 2.5 cane reed for tenor sax. So today, let's go ahead and compare four different mouthpieces to each other, and uh, let's have at it. Let's start out the comparison tests today with an old favorite, the Meyer Hard Rubber with a six-facing medium chamber. The Meyer mouthpiece is kind of a standard go-to mouthpiece for concert band, jazz band, it's a great mouthpiece to kind of blend in with the crowd. Uh, it doesn't have a high baffle. You know, there's almost no baffle here in the front. Thin rails. It's an easy to work with mouthpiece. Now, being a number six facing, this is going to be the smallest of the mouthpieces that you're going to hear. But I want to include it in the test so that you can appreciate the difference between them all and the sounds that they make. It comes in a you know, regular plastic tube that you've seen from other mouthpieces. This one is called the Contemporary 7 Star. Uh, it has a 108 tip opening. And upon my little examination, I noticed that the tip seems to flare, if you will, at the last little split second so it's um it's got this curve to it and then right at the very front of the tip that's when it really opens up more i think this is an ingenious way to do it uh that way if i lean into the reed and lift it up a little bit there's still plenty of air getting inside the vibrating reed so very smart idea it's made from a resin mold and then handcrafted. And you know it's handcrafted because when it arrived, there's still some oil in there and I had to wash off the black oil. So handmade model, they are made to order. Uh, I waited about two and a half weeks uh, to get the one mouthpiece. It's got a high baffle, okay. It's got kind of a medium large chamber. I don't know if, let's see if we can get a shot of that. time to try another Drake tenor mouthpiece. This is also the Drake Contemporary One for tenor sax. This is the number eight facing, which is a 0.110. 
Uh, but the difference on this model is the brass rezzo chamber. So yes, inside the chamber he managed to get a little piece of round brass in there. I wonder if you can see it, if the lighting is good enough for this to see. But there is actually a brass ring inside the chamber of the mouthpiece. All right, so let's give it a try and see if we like it or not. I'm going to use the ligature that's supplied by Aaron Drake. You slip it under here. It's a ring. Uh, it's kind of a pliable plastic, if you will. It seems pretty sturdy. But of course the downside with this is you only get one location to set the ring. You can't choose where it goes. All right, so on this read, that's where it ends up being. I really hope that you can hear differences in the sound because I'm just using the camera mic on this video, and I hope that's enough. All right, so first impression, yes, it has that bark, big, old-fashioned sound, but also has a little bit of that sizzle brass rezzo chamber. <laughs> The next mouthpiece we're going to try today is an old favorite of mine from Brillhart. It's called the Level Air. This one is a number eight facing. It comes with this ligature and this cap. You can fit other ligatures on here as well. The Brillhart, when I bought it, came with two baffles, meaning you can insert this plastic baffle inside. There were two of them. However, of the two, I decided to make my own, which is kind of a hybrid. One was really high and one was kind of low. So I kind of made my own and installed it myself. You can see another video that I made on how to make your own baffle and install it. <laughs> A lot of growl, man. So let me try to wrap up my impressions on this test today. The Meyer mouthpiece uh, seemed to be the darkest of the four and also the easiest to control, uh, probably because it's only a six opening. What I am surprised is how much volume level I can get out of this and 
even compared to the other models, this competes with the volume level, but it's not quite as powerful. Definitely easier to get the right pitch, easy low notes, difficult altissimo for me. The second contender was the Contemporary One by Drake in a seven star opening. That's a .108. And this model was really fun to play, <clears throat> easy low notes, um, just fun overall. It's still got some of that darkness to it and it has uh, some brightness as well. Very good mouthpiece. The third model in uh, brightness would be the Drake Contemporary One Eight with the brass rezzo chamber. Uh, when I wrote to Drake, he said that this is probably his brightest piece that he offers. It's very responsive, fun to blow, easy to get loud, but you can also control the volume. Uh, and if you're not used to the wide open mouthpiece, the pitch will at first be difficult. But once you get used to it, this is a great mouthpiece overall. The brightest of the four mouthpieces was definitely the Brillhart Level Air Metal. Now, I can't say for sure that it's because of the metal that makes it more bright. A lot of people say so, but I'm not sure if I agree with that. It's, there are more factors involved. Uh, the baffle, for sure, is one of them. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of grit in the sound, even without trying very hard. And I love that, so this is probably my favorite of the four. Although, the downside is, it doesn't bark out the low notes as easily as any of the other three mouthpieces did. So that's my summary. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>